The summer transfer window is now officially open. As Manchester United fans, we know it's really hard to keep on top of what's going on. And this summer is going to be a busy one for Man United with Solskjaer trying to rebuild his squad basically from the ground up to try and close that gap with Liverpool and City. But who does Solskjaer want to sign this summer for United? Who is on his radar? What we're going to do in this video is run through what Solskjaer's plan is and the players that he wants to sign for United. Now, before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell as well. You get a ping every time a new video goes live. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into it. So what is Solskjaer's plan? The Manchester Evening News are reporting that Solskjaer wants to move away from marquee signings and recruit the right players for the right reasons for United. Players that he feels will bring the right attitude into a dressing room which has been toxic for a few years, and that isn't going to be marquee signings. As far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what I want to hear from Solskjaer. And now sometimes it is lip service, but I want to move away from marquee signings because United are really bad at signing big name players and then having a very good impact straight away at the club. Van Persie is the standout signing recently in the last few years, I suppose, that has worked in that sense, but there's so many that haven't. Falcao, Di Maria, Sanchez. United need to move away from that and bring in players like Daniel James maybe. Somebody that we don't really know about that could fit United a little bit better than marquee signings. So I hope that Solskjaer can find the right players. But let's see what happens. But he certainly wants to move away from marquee signings. And a really important thing here as well is that Solskjaer wants to get his business done early. United go out on their pre-season tour on July 8th and they do like an Australasia tour. He wants to get it all done by July the 1st. That's exactly what United need to do. Move quick in the market. Look, Real Madrid have already got, was it Luka Jovic from uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Bayern Munich have already signed Luka, what, Hernandez. They've already signed Benjamin Pavard. Big clubs making big moves. Barca have already got De Jong looking like they're going to get De Ligt, And they might get Griezmann too. United need to move quickly to establish our squad and make sure that everybody is prepared for the season ahead. And that means a long pre-season with the squad bonding together. So Solskjaer is absolutely right. And it's very Fergie, but get your business done early. But what players does Solskjaer want to sign? David Ornstein has given us a little bit of insight into this. If you don't know who David Ornstein is, he's a BBC journalist who is extremely respected as far as football transfer news goes in the industry of transfers. He's known as the sort of king of Arsenal transfer news whenever David Ornstein speaks. It's invariably true. And let's see if that's the case this year. But this is what he's had to say about the four signings that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is looking at. One of their priorities is at centre-half, as we know, uh, Kalidou Koulibaly from Napoli. Um, there, I'm told, they love him. And uh, the only problem with that is he's extremely expensive. Uh, Napoli don't need to sell. I think in 2021, he has a buyout clause of €150 million euros uh, and he's got a few years left on his contract so either they'll be looking for a, a younger talent in that position who can emerge to make the position his own or somebody prove it. So first on Ollie's list Kalidou Koulibaly we all know he's going to be extremely expensive and he's not really the non-marquee signing that we were just talking about there but if there's one area where United are going to try and sign some real experience it's in defence. And I genuinely think, you know how highly I rate Koulibaly. I think he could be United Van Dijk type of player. Somebody who's a really established, ready-made leader, ready to come in and just bring the whole defence up a level, simply by his presence. Koulibaly is an outstanding, world-class, ready-made, experienced leader. And that's exactly what United need in defence. Whether or not we go and spend 150 million on him, though, is a different thing altogether because Napoli don't want to sell, don't really need to sell. He signed a contract semi-recently and they want to keep him. So United would have to go big to sign him. 75 million is what Liverpool pay for Van Dijk, but we'd have to pay probably double that to get Koulibaly. And the odds are we'd probably look to someone like Toby Alderweireld instead, who's only going to cost 25 million. And maybe that would be a smarter move given that we need to make signings in key other areas as well. But Koulibaly is on Solskjaer's radar, and I think he should be oh, him or maybe De Ligt. I'd love to sign De Ligt as well, but it looks like Barcelona are in for him. Every player of 
class in the summer transfer window is going to have more than one club looking at him. Now, that's tough for United because we don't have Champions League football. But Koulibaly is on the radar. What would you think about that? And moving on from centre-back, United looking at a right-back as well. And there's one in particular. Uh, also a right-back, Aaron Wambasaka is uh, very much on Manchester United's radar along with Manchester City, but they're also keen, United, to develop Diogo Dalot and the young Ethan Laird. I think out of all the areas where I would sign players this summer, right back is probably the one I think we need the most. I'm so tired of not having any sort of right flank at all, in defence or attack. United have been so limp down the right for years. That's because we've had the wrong players there. But someone like Juan Bissaka could come in, and I genuinely think he would pretty much improve every team in the league, maybe other than Liverpool and City. He is a fantastic defender. I think he was only dribbled past 10 times this season in the Premier League. That's amazing at Crystal Palace as well, which is a team that gets so many attacks against them. And the nearest to him had more than 50 times he was dribbled past. Juan Bissaka is clearly a fantastic player with so much room to grow. And that's the sort of players that I would like to see United signing. But United are going to have a tough, tough time on their hands trying to get wan because he'll be expensive. Other teams will want him as well. But it's whether or not United can make it happen. But certainly wan will be the right back that I would like to see United going after. So that's right back and that's centre back. What about central midfield? Um, central midfield could be contingent on what happens with Paul Pogba, of course. Now for me, I don't think United signing a central midfielder this summer should be dependent at all on whether or not Paul Pogba leaves. Because Marouane Fellaini's already left. And the Herrera is leaving. So already, that's two central midfielders out. And then we've only got Matic really left. And McTominay and Fred. Of course we need a new central midfield signing. And I think that's regardless of whether Pogba leaves. And there's one, I think you all know which one I like. And that's Ruben Neves. I feel Ruben Neves could again improve pretty much most teams in the Premier League. He could add real bite and a real genuine dynamism into our midfield that would change so much because, yes, our defence is poor, but because they've got no protection from our midfield, attackers run at them very easy. Neves would change that. He's fantastic as well at scoring from outside the box. I think he could genuinely be one of those box-to-box -box midfielders that could improve our midfield so much. Premier League proven, young quality, top, top quality. He was mustered against us every time he played this season. And I'd love to see us go for Ruben Neves, but there are going to be plenty of other central midfielders that we're going to get linked with or that we should look at. The likes of Ndombele, Ndidi, maybe Decore as well from Watford. What I'm going to do next week is run through five or six central midfielders I think United should be looking at. So make sure you check that one out. But do you think United signing a central midfielder depends on whether or not we sell Pogba. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But of course, it's not just in midfield and defence that United needs signings. It's in attack as well. And there's one player really on United's radar. But, but, but the big one, um, which n not many people have spoken about yet, is Jadon Sancho. Now, Jadon Sancho is among the top targets, I understand, of Manchester United. And Manchester United would be his preferred option if he was to come back to the Premier League during this transfer window. I'm told that a couple of months ago it was looking like this would be nailed on. However, he is reluctant to give up Champions League football. He's reluctant to join an unstable club. He wants stability and he wants to win things. Uh, I'm told never say never, but at, as things stand, it's 50-50 on that one. PSG, Juve, Real Madrid and Barcelona have also shown firm interest in him, but there's been no other interest from Premier League clubs. He won't move just for the sake of it. It has to be right for him. And the fee this summer would be in excess of £100 million. This is the main attacking option that most United fans want to see. And if David Ornstein's correct, it was basically a shoo-in prior to United failing to get into the Champions League. Is that going to come back to haunt us? David there saying that, United was Sancho's preferred option, but that he doesn't really want to give up Champions League football. I'm not sure. I'd love to sign Sancho, but would he miss it for a year? You've seen this season, more than most, just how incredible the Champions League can be. With all those comebacks, one for United, 
one for Liverpool, one for Spurs. Incredible comebacks. So, of course, Sancho wants to be part of that. I don't know. I'd love to sign Sancho, but I do question whether he'd leave Dortmund and leave the Champions League and come to United. And yes, he'd be a central figure and a star going forward, but United are a club that are rebuilding. And it's whether he wants to join that project or whether now is when he wants Champions League football. Let me know what you think about that in the comments and whether United have any chance of signing Sancho. And I wouldn't really be worried about paying 100 million plus, which is what Sancho would cost because, you know, at 19, he's got so much of his career ahead of him. It would be a sound investment. And there are other players in the Premier League, like Meza Ozil, who's considered by some to be the worst value signing ever. Merze Ozil is the worst player in the Premier League, pound for pound. Because let's be serious, he's on a 350k contract or something. Bruv, he's bankrupt in Arsenal. You know them way there. I personally completely disagree with expressions there. I think Alexis Sanchez is hands down the worst value for money signing you could ever make. He's paid 350 grand a week at Manchester United. Plus, I think, 75,000 appearance bonus. And he scored two goals this season. One against Reading and one against Newcastle. The Premier League's highest paid player scored two goals against Pup teams. Sanchez has annihilated United's wage structure. And he's an awful, awful signing. But what do you think? Go over to the 888 Sport YouTube channel. There's a link in the description to the video. Go over there and comment saying who you think is the worst value signing ever. And the idea there of overpaid marquee signings, that's what United need to shift away from. And it looks like that's what Solskjaer is going to do this summer because our strategy has been an utter failure since Fergie left. Over £400 million has been spent by United in the transfer window since Fergie left. And how many of those signings can you honestly say, hand on heart, were a success? Not that many. I'm going to do a full run through of that in another video next week, so make sure you check that out. But moving towards signings made for the right reasons is exactly what I want to see United do. Whether or not United can get the targets that Solskjaer wants might be a different thing altogether without Champions League football, but at least... Maybe there's an inkling of a good strategy in place this summer that means we've signed the right players and we don't balls up again in the transfer window. But what are you expecting this summer? Do you think United can go out and sign the right players? Or will we miss out and have to sign alternatives that aren't really who Solskjaer wants to sign? And maybe will Ed Wood would get his way and sign a marquee signing like Gareth Bale again. What are you expecting? Would you be happy if United signed those four players? Koulibaly, Wan-Bissaka... Neves is who I put for for central midfield, and Sancho. Would you be happy at those or would you want more? Let me know what you think about the transfer window in the comments below. It's going to be a very busy sum for United. There'll be loads of transfer videos on United People's TV. So make sure you drop a like on this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. Till next time though, take it easy.